What yeah. do you think? I like it more than I thought I was going to. It's yeah. a lot of fabric. She really has a special day because I can tell that this is really important to her. I'm really excited to be here. Yeah. Come here. Come here. This mama may think she's being cute, but these antics could drive a wedge between her and her daughter. The form-fitting gown needs to be on a very thin, petite, tiny person. I just feel like it's not, like it hides everything. How do you feel out here? I love, I love the silhouettes, but the bottom is just a little too much for me with the ruffles. I'm sort of old-fashioned, you know, and I uh, don't care too much for bare skin. Number seven, heartfelt mom. It's a happy day for Riley Wolf and her family who've excitedly turned up at Kleinfeld with only one goal. Their goal is to get Riley kitted out in a dreamy dress which suits the beautiful occasion. The star of the show might be Riley, but her biggest cheerleader is her mom, Jennifer, and she has the first request of the day to put to her daughter. Though Riley might be excited to try on a sleek and slinky dress, Mama wants her to give a full skirted ball gown a try first. Just walking in, I feel like I'm a kid in the candy shop. But just for fun, would you consider just to try on a ball gown, just to like get a I look at it? I said I'll try on any silhouette. I just want I'll to try see on it. any yeah. silhouette. I think I actually wouldn't mind something with that level of bling. That's really pretty. Okay. Oh my gosh. Can you guys see? <laughs> <laughs> well, she'll love to be a minute. <laughs> really loud and charming and can make friends with anybody in minutes. She's lovely. Mom's presence at the dress choosing is a miracle in its own right. Battling health issues which have taken over her life, the fact that the bride's mother has been able to make it this far deserves celebration, and this appointment seems to be it. It seems that the whole day is gonna be filled with miracles. The second miracle of the day is the fact that the minute Riley puts on the ball gown of mom's choice, she has fallen in love with it. What are you looking for? I want something that fits that on the water romantic vibe. What yeah. do you think? I like it more than I thought I was going to. It's yeah. a lot of fabric. Oh, it's so hard. So I'm really excited that we're finally getting to the finish line. We're finally going to be together. She really has a special day because I can tell that this is really important to her. I'm really excited to be here. Yeah. Yeah. Mom's reaction to the dress is an emotional outburst of the happy kind, but Riley's not convinced. Dress number two has made all of her doubts and second-guessing disappear as if they never were there. Not only is mom in love with a beautiful piece, but the entire family has shown its approval. Riley's own feelings of happiness in the dress is the icing on the cake and the final seal of approval. Number 6. Best Bud Mom Jessica Knight is hoping to have her spring wedding and celebrate it by making her bridesmaids wear black to it. She has her entire family and friends accompanying her to the salon and even her fiancé has chosen not to stay at home. Big entourages always present a unique set of problems, but with this party, only one problem is going to be a headache, and that comes in the form of the mother of the bride. This lady has age dysmorphia since so she refuses to act it. Bring a little bit more pop. Bling. I don't really care for black for bridesmaids dresses. <laughs> Can sometimes be a little harsh. Usually the mom is the one that's been there, done that. The color was more her decision. Uh. But this mom is acting like a teenager. How am I gonna get these two together? Her 40 plus years have been relegated by her to a cupboard somewhere and she's hell bent on reenacting her clueless teen years. Each suggestion or choice is met with mom gagging and it's changing the atmosphere the entire meetup. It can only get worse from here onwards, right? Completely right. Jessica might be dreaming of a classy black tie event with a glamorous bridal gown and tuxedos matching the dream. For her mom, the best way to go is wearing PJs or jean shorts to her wedding. This bride might want her mama to step up to the plate, but said mom was not willing to play along. My mom wouldn't like that one because it's too formal. I love her, but my mom is a redneck. This mama may think she's being cute, but these antics could drive a wedge between her and her daughter. I think y'all should just wear shorts and a t-shirt. Stuff like that. See, I'm thinking if you're sweating, they're gonna have big old sweat rings. Mom does not like my formal wedding style. She thinks we should go in spring colors. This lady is a real piece of work and her comments have got all of the bridesmaids squirming in their seats. It seems somebody's gotta lecture mom and who better than Monty to do it. Turns out even teen-minded moms love their daughters, and this one is no different. She's promising to behave, and this appointment is coming to a happy end. Number 5. Mom Viewed 
Heather Milhon was unlucky as a bride the first time she got married. Her wedding is something she would like to forget. Being five months pregnant and her fiancé not showing up on time are not memories she wants to keep. This wedding renewal is meant to give a fresh start and losing 75 pounds before a wedding seems to be the first step in that direction. The second thing this bride wants to forget is how much weight she had put on, but that's easier said than done since mom Janine seems to be determined to throw her size in her face. Do you have any particular like shape or? I've lost 77 pounds. It's okay up here what we do, but what we do down here is gonna be another problem. The bride has lost a lot of weight. She wants to show it all. The form-fitting gown needs to be on a very thin, petite, tiny person. She's still a little bit heavy, and I think she look better in a long gown that's not real tight-fitting. Stylist Flo wants a rebirth of Bride Heather's self-confidence and is going to use this dress appointment as an opportunity. That is, if mom Janine lets her. Janine is too used to hearing her own voice and her daughter's opinions do not matter. Flo wants mom to meet the bride halfway and she tries to do that by putting Heather in a gown of mom's choice. Unfortunately, the ruse backfires as mom gets stuck on how much she likes it while Heather dislikes it intensely. Something's gotta give and it's up to Monty. Brad is looking like somebody just I don't love it. The dress he's putting this bride into has most definitely achieved his goals for him. Number 4, Miss USA. Erin Brady might be Miss USA, but mom-in-law Tina Capasso knows what she says will go. While Erin is most definitely interested in making Tina happy, how far she will go to make her comfortable is anybody's guess. Randy is Erin covered as he puts her in the Lazarus creation she wanted in the first place, but it isn't well received by anyone. The second dress is a Daniel Caprice, which has won everyone over, but mom in law Tina has a tiny observation to share on it, and she thinks seems to be making sense. Um, I, I love how it fits. I think the bottom's a little overwhelming for me. It's not wowing me yet. This was not the reaction I was expecting. How do you feel out here? I love, I love the silhouettes, but the bottom is just a little too much for me with the ruffles. It's overpowering a little bit. It's just too much of a break from the top going down to the bottom does nothing for her. This needle in a haystack is giving everyone the run around until it's found by Randy. What a relief. Number three, Southern Headache. Laura Charles wants a 20th century stunner of a gown, but mother-in-law Mary Frances Hale wants to drag her kicking and screaming to the last one. While Laura from the new generation might have dreams of off-the-shoulder slinky pieces, Mary wants her covered in a nun's garb. And what's more, Grandma seems to agree. She seems to be sharing more than opinions with mom-in-law. These two Marys are about to have a showdown with poor Laura. It's a clash of generations and this bride-to-be is definitely outnumbered. Your own decision is part of growing up in the South. We have to respect our elders. It's up to me. Probably I'd have her lace up to the neck. Grandma, what do you see her in today? Classic, simple, mm -hmm. traditional. Uh -huh. The bride doesn't need to be disrespectful, but she has to be firm. We've got to empower her. I'm sort of old fashioned, you know, and I uh, don't care too much for bare skin. She's more old fashioned where mm -hmm. she wants to wear. As soon as Laura is done batting Mary number one, she's locking horns with Mary number two. The best way to lighten this sticky situation is by starting the trial and Randy has Laura shimmying into dress number one without delay. After much trial and error, Randy has this beautiful bride to be dressed up in a piece of her own choice and the instant it's on her, the change is so noticeable that even the two matriarchs of the family are moved. Number two, quadruplets mom. Nicole Crumpler is mom to quadruplets, which doesn't leave her much time to go wedding dress shopping. Not only that, but she's a school principal with hundreds, hundreds of kids under her care. Her responsibilities as a school principal is leaving her no time to be a beautiful bride on her wedding day. With all the wonderful, it still is very hard. 
My name is Nicole Crumpler. I'm so excited to shop for a wedding dress today. The babies eat every three hours, so we're making about 24 to 30 bottles a day. Have really worked as a team, but I have to say he's a great dad. I'm an elementary school principal in Prince George's County, Maryland. We go through, I can't even tell you how many diapers. I do work. You work full time? <laughs> the hunt is on for that quintessential wedding gown which could set her heart aflutter. And what do you know, Randy has come across the perfect piece suited to our bride-to-be. Once she puts it on, it leaves no room for doubt in anyone's mind. This is the dress she Dorothy aims to please. Number 1. Mom Control Kairi Pujadas is firmly under mom Jean's thumb, who has big plans for a big day. These plans start with dressing her daughter as if she's still in her diapers. As expected, no agreement shall dirty this day. Dress number 1 is definitely this bride's cup of tea, with mama shaking her head. But dress number 2 speaks to mom's heart, but there's only silence at Carrie's end. That's unbelievable. It's unbelievable, honey. <laughs> I mean, it was a double take. At this point, I'm a little frustrated, a little irritated at the mom, the way she's reacting to Carrie. And her bust line, and gave her hips. Mom is in love, but what about bride Carrie? This second dress is a little bit more fitted, a little sexier, a little bit more va va boom. It looks like I'm in a competition for Little Miss Mermaid. I want the dress to complement the whole antique style that I'm looking at. This little tug of war is ended in a stalemate with Carrie leaving without the dress she loves. In alteration, Sneaky Higgins has arrived to check the final look of her gown. She took a leap of faith over the color of her wedding dress and thankfully, it worked out perfectly in the end. That's all we have for you folks. Join us next time.